Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of AVS Show. You're watching me on the TV, go ahead, subscribe to our page, share with your friends, and also add us on Instagram, The AVS Show. We have another special guest in the studio. Before that, I want to say shout out to Ivy, we miss you. Welcome, you know, hurry up and come back. But until <laughs> then, there's a new guest on the block. Hi, welcome. Hi. What's Hi. your name again? My name is Wemi. Wemi? Yes. Oh, not like Remy Ma, like no. <laughs> like Wemi. Like yeah, Wemi. Oh. Wemi Ma. And where Wemi Ma. Oh, yeah, Remy Ma. Yeah. Wemi Ma. No, we, Wemi Ma. Yeah, Oluwa Wemi Ma. Oh, oh okay. Nigeria. So now we are talking. Yes. So you're Nigerian. <laughs> yes. Okay. I am. So your name is Wemi. <laughs> yes. Welcome for to sure. the AVS show. Thank Way you Nigeria. for having me. <laughs> uh, so my mom is Yoruba and she's from uh, Ikeja. Hmm. And then my dad is Igbo. Oh. Um, he's from Abia State. Okay. Also. So half That's cast. Nice. I'm okay. Igbo. I didn't know that Igbos and Yorubas married. I thought like, <laughs> I didn't know, I'm just saying. Cause Hello. you always hear Yorubas are always like loving Yorubas <laughs> and Igbos always loving Igbos and it's always like, oh, what's better? That's just yeah, why I said Yeah, well that. they met in the States, so you know. So it's it's a little different. Mm. <laughs> so you're a, a model, right? And a DJ, model slash DJ? Yes. You're a DJ? Yeah. I just dropped a new single. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. so you guys can talk <laughs> behind the scenes. I yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so are you more, because I know like you're like, you you do runways, you've done like New York run, um, and New York Fashion Week. Yeah. yeah. I've seen like a lot of beautiful photos of you online. Thank you. Um, but with your DJ, now you like an Afrobeat DJ or are you like a all around like a Paris Before. Hilton kind of DJ playing mm -hmm. all kinds of music? Yeah, like uh, I play all types of music, but my main focus is like Afrobeats. Oh, and, fun. Yeah. So, but I do, uh, recently I just just did like a, a gig where I was playing only house music. House so. Oh, oh that's that's nice. so I, I just have to ask you then, what's your favorite Afrobeat song right now that oh. you know you have to that's put it DJ. in there? That's a good question. Uh, Iskaba by Wande Cole. Oh, oh my god, I like that song. Actually, and DJ Tunes. That's not like just that by Wande Cole. That's also Wande Cole and DJ Tunes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And perfect. DJ Tunes it's was actually, yeah, it's actually a DJ Tunes song featuring Wande Cole. Wande yeah. Cole. Oh, okay. Yeah. And yeah. Tunes was just um, nominated. He was just in the Fader magazine. Like yes. they had like a big article about him. Yeah. I think it was about about the Iskaba song. Yeah. Yeah. About, okay. yeah, we should yeah. bring him that here. song. Always That's keeps the party yeah. going. Yeah. Tunes. I agree. Tunes, you need to come in, and I think he's from New York as well. Yeah. So you you need to come. You need to come have a seat right here. Tunes. Yes. Yeah. Welcome to the ABS show. Thank you. For so the me. ABS show, we dig in. We we talk about pop culture, entertainment, politics, everything goes. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are ready? you guys ready? Yes. Yes. All right. So Timani, what is going on? Um, something is actually going on because um, somebody, a very beautiful lady, an Iranian lady actually, was flying from Doha, Qatar, to Bali with her husband in Qatar Airways, a plane. And out of curiosity, she decided to go into his phone. She used his thumbprint to open his phone while mm -hmm. he was asleep. Okay. Trouble is sleep, young guy go wake up. <laughs> And then she saw what she was not supposed to see. see. Mm -hmm. And then she got angry and she started fighting the man on the plane. It was a serious fight too. Don't be small. They had to stop in India. As in the, the pilot had to drop in India so they could get off the plane. While she was fighting the man, people tried to stop them and they couldn't stop her. Her energy came up all of a sudden. And well, nobody was hurt, but the man was seriously beaten by the woman. <laughs> and so she found out what she was not supposed to see. So what do you guys think about this curiosity thing? Was it too early to find out what was gonna happen in the new year? Or she would have just decided to mind her business and leave the phone alone? <laughs> Listen, I always say this. If you have, if, as, a, as you know, if you're in a relationship and you have to go through all that hustle, all that hustle, don't be in that relationship. If you don't trust your man enough for you to be creeping and sneaking into his phone when he's sleeping, going through emails, if you have to do all of those work, then you shouldn't be in that relationship. And she's even a wife. Sh yeah, it, should, it should be about trust. It should be about, you know, and not all of that. that what they did was, in can you imagine if you were on that flight, mm -hmm. trying to get to where you're supposed to, to go to, and they're, they're like a couple over there fighting. I would have bust her myself. I would have been mad. Like, <laughs> I I I I she, that, while man. she was giving it to her husband, I would have given it to her like, lady, I yes. need to get where I'm going. Yes. Now this plane is stopping in India and delaying our whole entire flight. It was a chaos. That was why the pilot had to stop. And anything could have happened too. Because first of all, some other people could have been sleeping and the shout and reaction could scare them up, you know? So everything was like, they had to just stop the plane. 
So what do you think, my beautiful lady? <laughs> if <laughs> I was your boyfriend, are you not oh very my cute? Goodness. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Every girl, typical, Would you go through my phone if I'm sleeping? Typical <laughs> Nigerian man. Every girl that sit in this chair, you they flirt him. <laughs> At least girls. Uh, so it's oh, bad. come on, too money. <laughs> no, what, what do you think about this situation? Issue, so what would you do? Um, yeah, I think she already suspected that he was cheating. So I don't know. Sometimes people have to really see hmm. it to believe oh, it. Okay. But it's like it's already happening. So she so you kind would of see. No, I would not want to see. I, you know, if I'm already feeling some type of way and suspecting something, like I shouldn't be with that person because there's no trust. Yeah. Like I just, I don't need to see it. So what you're trying to say is you've never creep around. No, mm. you don't. I, I, no, I'm really sure. Like my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. I, I have oh, a boyfriend. you have a boyfriend. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, yes, and I just refuse to like go through anything because also a part of me like I don't suspect anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I feel like you can if you really love the person, you can tell. Uh, you know if something is off. You know like maybe they're coming home later than usual or mm. they're you know not the color. signs. The signs are there, yes. and so when something is off then you just have to like really deal with it with them. There's no need to go through the phone. Just talk to them. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and I then agree. It's yes, the wrong Wemmy. place at the wrong time. Like, right. You're on a flight mid-air. Like, yeah. uh -uh. You, she you couldn't to to wait. Heaven. She <laughs> couldn't wait. Like, she couldn't wait. Let's yeah. land in Bali first, then start But that the was fight, the time right? you were sleeping. That was the best time to check it. Yeah, I mean... No, but I think what she's saying is, okay, now you, you, you've seen what you saw, you know. Yeah. Wait, Are you happy let's now? land, and then you deal with it. Yeah, you she, know? Just, okay, she okay, just okay. went, like, red, mm -hmm. and just went for yes. it right there, which, you know, I can't say, like, oh, she shouldn't have or should have done this way. You know, you don't know how you are yeah. when, when those nice things situation. happen. Yeah. But, you know, if you're already suspecting some, like... Was she bored on the flight or something? <laughs> she like she was. was sitting there. I guess. Like, hmm, like, let me go through his phone. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind is the devil's workshop. Have you ever heard that? No. Yes. Yes. Yes, have yeah, you been through? Like, yeah. This is what I always tell my friends. Anytime you feel the need to go through a man's phone and you go through it, girl, you're going to find what you're looking for. Yes. So, so what's the point of even going through the phone? If you feel like you need to go through your man's phone, it's there. That means you already know. Exactly. And then what kills me is you go through the phone and then you don't break up with him. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. that's like even the worst part because if, you, if you're going to go through the phone because you need your evidence you take that evidence and you bounce you leave you get the step in peace peace out deuces i'm out of here mm. but then you go through the phone you see all this you confront him you were messing with you hit him blah 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 and you get back with him girl you just gave him the open path to cheat mm. so yeah. what, whatever happened to just asking them like asking your boyfriend or girlfriend like well what is if going you on? if yeah. if you think your man is cheating on you then 99.9 percent .9 then he is cheating on you yeah. so what are you asking for i'm just if i don't trust you mm. i'm i'm releasing myself from that situation if i don't trust you so are you gonna go through anybody's phone are you gonna go through your boyfriend's phone if you are i thinking? have as, i have as a teenager but as a woman as an adult now no i would never go through anyone's phone and if i felt like i had to go through your phone i would just exit out of the situation I was just without fact. Why would you exit? Like, okay, you have doubts. You feel he's cheating, right? You're not sure. Like Charlie said, ask, and definitely he's gonna say he's not. So how do you find out? <laughs> if you want me to be very honest with you, I was just getting to know someone. He wasn't my boyfriend yet, but we were just like getting to know each other to see where it goes. And he lives like in a, like far away. So like we were just doing through FaceTime calls, visiting each other back and forth, getting to know each other. He came to visit me, then he left, and then I just noticed the changes in the phone calls, changes in everything. And so I told him straight up, I said, I don't, I don't wanna do this anymore. And he was like, oh, but I, I wanna get to know you, I love you. I'm like, okay, bro, slow down. First of all, like we're not even in a relationship first, number one. Number two, I'm not stupid. Like we're already in a long distance relationship, so if, we can't FaceTime a hundred times a day, bro. I don't want to do this. If, if times. I'm, I'm not saying a hundred <laughs> times, <laughs> but no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not like okay. Before that visit, because he's visited me several times, but before that visit, we used to talk like five, six times a day. Then he came, and then he left, and then all of a sudden, when he left, it was like we're talking once every two days. That was my sign right there. The minute I can't trust you, I'm not gonna put my myself in that stressful situation, especially when we don't live in the same city. Bye, deuces. It's plenty of fishes in the sea. It's sharks, yeah. it's dolphins, octopus, <laughs> shrimp. Oh I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna. In, yeah. I'm not gonna invest in any relationship, especially in this situation, a long distance relationship where I can't even trust you. No, so how you about this? If you okay. if you married, how about this? Don't don't like your phone then. 
Don't yeah. lock your phone. Yeah, my sister so and her husband, they, they know each other's passwords and everything. Like, there's no... There's no hide. He leaves yeah, his phone around. She married. Yeah. What's there to hide? Yeah, there's nothing to hide. So that was the first problem right there. Like, if she had to use his thumb to yeah. get on the phone. Mm. Yeah, because my much. boyfriend has the same password since we met. Yeah. Aww. He knows that I know it, know Aww. it, and he just, in front of me, is like... Yeah. And, like, anyway, just, yeah. Yeah. So, and, 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 and let me say something. A good cheater never gets caught as well. <laughs> if you're a good cheater, you never... In this generation, they have way too much they cheating ways. apps. Yes. That like like there's an <laughs> app that's a calculator. No. Like when you look at it, it looks like it's a calculator, but then you go in there and you can save like pictures that's and all that much. stuff on it. But what I'm you gotta be a, a smart woman too. Like yes, you're a good cheater, but I'm a smart woman too. Like you're not gonna get Ooh. past that. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, am I the only one seeing that? Am I the only one seeing that? Am I the only one seeing Michelle Obama? Yeah, yes. yes. I'm seeing that to Obama. Yes, beautiful <laughs> and no, intelligent I at the same time. Ooh. All right, yeah. so we're gonna move on to the next topic. So Mariah Carey. Everybody know who she is, fabulous singer. She went um, under weight loss surgery. She got the gas, gastric sleeve surgery. And reports are saying that the reason why she did that was because of online body shamers. Wow. So she went through that. So basically the gastric um, sleeve surgery is when they, you know, cut up a little bit of your stomach just mm -hmm. to, you know, reduce it. That way you can eat a lot like me. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the gastric but bypass surgeries, they just make your stomach smaller. They smaller. make your stomach smaller, smaller yes. yeah. so that you just eat smaller portions. Yes, mm -hmm. and okay. then in due time, you, you, you're going to see the changes. Well, if you're eating mm -hmm. less, then you, you wouldn't put us as much pounds, right? Are you trying right? to say that she's still eating? No, no, I'm just oh. saying <laughs> that the, the surgery is going to, if you used to eat two apples, after that surgery, I'm guessing you would only eat one apple because, because now your stomach full. is in half. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, but the reason why she did that was because of, online you know body shamers are online and she felt insecure so she underwent that uh, do you feel cheated that she did that like How what do you guys you feel, feel about Let's the situation talk, especially <laughs> since she's a model and <laughs> <laughs> this is her field yeah. um i just think like i mean mariah carey has had a lot of surgery like <coughs> you know, yeah so <laughs> it's like her nose was done mm. she had a breast augmentation yeah, yeah. So um, it's now now it's like weight loss surgery so i'm just like Okay, they say she's really happy, but like, are you really mm -hmm. happy? happy yes. Like, you know, it's like a knife and a whatever they use to give you your weight loss could fix that, mm -hmm. but then can it fix your complexes inside? Oh, she, wow. isn't that like a song on um, Beyonce, Pretty Hurts? <laughs> wow. Like, can you, do you need to feel like surgery for your soul? Because now you've done your body, now it's yeah. like the soul. soul. Are you happy yeah. inside? Oh, well, according to, <laughs> according to obesity.com, to have that surgery, it costs like $23,000. For real? So, yes. The average cost of a gastric bypass surgery is $23,000. Listen, with that amount of money... I'm mid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> if, I mean, she has money. You know, know she, yeah. she, she was married to... She was um, in a relationship with that billionaire guy. Mm -hmm. She has money. So if she want to go do that, I say go for it. But knowing who Marikari is, she her weight is always up and down. So hopefully this she can stay with this, you know, this. Well, side. I just feel I, like sorry, my dear. I just feel like she's she's the body shame shamers or whatever, they're not the reason. She did it for herself. Yeah. Let's just be real. Forget the body shame. Why you shamers. say that? She did, because she's done surgery before. Mm -hmm. She's a beautiful singer. She looks at the mirror and she sees something she doesn't like, she fixes it. Mm -hmm. She walks on her nose. She walked on this. She walked on. Uh, yeah. So I just feel she did it for herself. Maybe she was feeling a little bit too fired because there was a concert she oh performed. That picture, there was one particular picture that was trending about. You, you could see her stomach. She was in a, on the stage. That's mm -hmm. a picture they said that people body shamed and everything. Yeah. I feel she did it for herself. That's just my point. Yeah, but you can always can follow that. You can always follow what the people online are saying about you because if yeah. you if you yeah. do that you're True. gonna end up looking like <laughs> like <Masquerade. laughs> you're gonna keep doing doing it yes yeah, yes it's like there's no no one's ever satisfied with the way they look, they look or anybody it's always gonna be something yeah so i think that when it comes to a lot of high profile successful women such as like mariah carey Nicki minaj no matter how successful they are it just seems like they're not satisfied and they're not happy with themselves and that's what leads me to these TLC lyrics. Um, you can fix your hair if you say so. Oh, you can yeah. fix your nose if you. Mm. Mm. You can buy all the oh, makeup. Gosh, I right can't now? sing, but <laughs> okay. okay, let me say it. Let no. me say because I can't sing. But the the lyrics are: you can buy all the makeup, you can fix your nose if you say so. But if you can't look inside you mm -hmm. and find out who you are, 
then you're still not going to be pretty. Yeah. yeah. That's Do you get what pretty. I mean? So mm -hmm. it's like people, when you're a celebrity, you know people are going to talk, people are going to say things about you. Those things should not bother you. It should not yeah. affect you. And for me, it just seems like, you know, a lot of us sit here and like, oh, yeah, I wish I was this person. I wish I was that person. But it's really sad to see that most of those women are just really not happy and content with themselves, no matter what. My riot was not fat before this. She looked great. I mean, we're all human beings. She's a mother. She's had kids. We all fluctuate with weight here and there. And mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with that. It's all part of being a woman. You know, you have to embrace it. So, like, what is she going to do next now? Like, if they start saying that her cheeks are too fat, then what? Are you going to go and get a whole new jaw reconstructive mm -hmm. surgery? Mm -hmm. Do you get what I mean? True. So, I think that maybe it was just an excuse for her to say it. But she definitely did this for herself. And Thank you. I don't like stuff like this because there are a lot of like young women that look up to these kind of women. How many young women can afford $23,000 to do gastric bypass surgery? You yeah. know, and this is the reason why you have a lot of young women going out of the country to do surgeries, taking pills and putting their health at risk. Mm -hmm. Because Mariah said this, Nicki Minaj said this, that person said that, and they're going out to do surgery. But you're always talking about how people look up to these celebrities. Mm -hmm. Now, what is this? What is the message here? What do you think the message is here? Like that Mariah is trying to send to this young girls looking at her. You know, she's fabulous. The and message now, is negative. What do you think the message is? I don't. I'm for, first of all, I'm for plastic surgery if you need it. You know what I mean? I mean, there are some situations where some certain things need to be fixed. You know, but it is negative because Mariah was not fat before this. If Mariah was, if because let's be honest and let's be real. When you are fat, when you are obese, now we're also talking about a health problem. We're talking about diabetes, high blood pressure, hypertension, when you really actually are fat. And in that case, yes, I highly recommend you get a gastric bypass surgery. If, if you've already tried working out and you're not losing the weight, then you should get the surgery because it's for your own health and you're, you're literally putting your life at risk if you're obese and you're not losing weight. So if the surgery will help you, go for it. But in this case, it is a negative message because she did not need it. She was not fat prior to getting the surgery. Wait, I mean, are you true. for it or against it? I mean, like, you know, was she fat before or not? Just, like, I think there's so many different ways to, like, lose weight. You know, maybe she thought, like, okay, I have money. I can do it the fast way, the easy way. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you could send a different message, especially if you're saying that her following is, like, you know, young girls, mm -hmm. all this stuff. Okay. Uh, change the way you eat, um, work out, you know, mm. things like that. Be active. She's a singer, so, you know, like... She doesn't like working out. She even she doesn't even <laughs> like performing <laughs> on her own stage. She likes to be carried around, uh, so yes. she's performing. I was going to say that. She's, she's a lazy she's performer, so in my opinion. <laughs> Did you guys see the video that was trending of her, like, just going like this? <laughs> she was going yeah, like that, like and then it's like one, two step, and somebody had to carry her. It's yeah. like, what is this? Yeah, it's like instant True. gratification. <laughs> yes. It's like... Let's do this really quick, like yes. mm -hmm. for my happiness for this short time. Mm -hmm. yeah. But like, you know, what about the long run? Yeah, exactly. like, are you gonna go under gy uh, gastric bypass surgery if you're 60? There's more complications yes. then. Mm -hmm. It is, it is like, a complicated <laughs> surgery too, you know, gastric yeah. bypass. It's not like you see, like a breast augmentation. That's like an easy surgery, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But like gastric bypass, <laughs> liposuction, like there's some surgeries that they actually go deep. They go by a couple of organs and you're really putting your life at risk. Yeah, so did she really up. need to do that? No, but no. she's Mariah Carey and so if you have the money, she's gonna do what Mariah wants to do. You can ask me, like, because she claims, or rather they claim it was because of, because of the body shaming, right? Yeah. So this is in response to the body shaming. The best person you can draw inspiration from right now for body shaming is the American newscaster, Demetria Obilo, mm -hmm. that people body shamed. Yeah. Yeah. She was wearing a beautiful red gown. Mm -hmm. You remember? Yeah. And she gave a very positive response. Yeah. Yeah. So fans draw inspiration from that <laughs> from lady, that. Yeah. not from Maria. Yeah. Well, all right, next so topic. let's let's move on, though. We have to move on to um, the Speak, next. Yes, and this goes, we all know Mariah loves being in relationships and all of that. So actually, that ties right in into our next story, mm -hmm. where it seems like it's divorce season. I don't know what's in going Hollywood. on, but it looks like everybody <laughs> is divorcing. It's divorce season. <laughs> it's sexual assault season. It's revelation season. It's plastic surgery season. It's pedophile season. So I wait, don't who's know getting what's divorced going. now? Tamar, Tamar, not Tamar, yeah, Tamar, mm -hmm. Tamar Braxton and Vince are getting divorced, and not just them, but also Jill Scott and her husband, okay. they're also getting divorced, and hers came as a surprise to me, because I mean, they have a TV show together, and she's always talking about her husband and everything, and then all of a sudden, it's like he's being accused of, like, woman beating and mm -hmm. all this stuff, and I'm just like, 
So that's the reason. Domestic she, violence or what? She hasn't said the re reason, but they call her mom and her sisters at the airport like flying to her and like paparazzi was there interviewing them and yes, taking pictures. Yes, I saw that. Ah. Which I kind of thought like, what a coincidence. <laughs> as if they didn't call the paparazzi. Yeah. <laughs> but um, the mom was like, oh, Vince, keep your hands off my daughter. Don't kill my daughter. Don't kill my daughter. So yeah. I guess she's trying to say he's a woman beater. That's what he's saying. Mm. But Tamer hasn't commented on, no, on, on this issue. Hasn't. I mean, no, what, I, what I have to say was, what this is what Tamer said, that she has been unhappy in that marriage for a long time, but she was still in the marriage because she wanted to, you know, save face, you know, because their relationship was, you know, on the outside, everybody was looking, looking at them as the perfect couple, you know, so she was just in it because... She didn't want society and us, the ABS show, talking about her. <laughs> so do you believe her? Um, Sorry, man. Do I believe her as in what? Like, do you believe the marriage has always had issues and I she think was so. just doing it for I think probably? so. Because if you watch the show, you could tell them even the way they communicate with each other wasn't healthy. Like, it, it wasn't. They were always yelling at each other. Like, I, when I watch the show, I don't see, like, love. I don't see couple goals. I don't, personally. What do you think? So what it didn't you? come as a surprise um, to yeah. me at all. What do yeah. you think, Lenny? I just think, like, marriage, um, what it was back in the day. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm young, but I'm just saying. <laughs> like, you know, it's, like, supposed to be sacred and private mm -hmm. and between the husband and the wife. Yeah. And, you know, recently my cousin got married and the pastor is like, mind your business. Like, they put it out there. Yes. Like, okay, I'm not blaming them. I'm just saying, like, once it's out in the public mm -hmm. eye, it just becomes very... Public marriage. Yeah, difficult to keep it like private between them because not only are they listening to each other's like, you know, um, difficulties with one another, then other people, strangers, yeah. social yeah. media. Bring their, oh my and gosh. then when it comes out, they have to rewatch it and relive that. Um, it's already, it's already it's crazy. like damaged, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So, I mean, divorce is very unfortunate. Like, you know, when people get married, they don't even think about divorce, which is that's the way it's supposed to be. But mm -hmm. You know, if she felt unhappy, then, you know, her happiness is more important. So do you think bringing um, marriages and relationships into reality TV is a problem? I think so. I haven't, I don't know, like, I haven't seen a successful, like, marriage. Mm -hmm. I reality have. TV. Um, well, Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy Osbourne <laughs> and Sharon Osbourne. That's like they one out of ten. Married. But recently, did something? <laughs> one uh, out of ten. All right. Um, which other reality couple? Oh, I mean, Jessica Simpson and Nick Lachey, they divorced. But, but, okay, you know what I think? I'll be very honest, okay, because Bruce when I get married, <laughs> when, when I get married, I'm not divorcing. Good. I'm not. What? Like, no, I'm not divorcing <laughs> when I get married because when I get, it's kind of like what I was talking about a little while ago when I said that I cut the guy off just because I just felt like the communication sucked because I'm not going to entertain. Like, that's the problem with our society. People are getting married for the wrong reasons. People are getting married because they feel like, oh, I'm old, I'm this, I need to settle, they're just settling. People are getting married for money. People <coughs> are getting married because the person is rich. Like, let's look at Tamar and Vince, for example. Do you really think that they were married for love? I don't think so. I don't think that their marriage for one day was about love. My opinion from what I see on their show, it was mm -hmm. more about, okay, he's, he's a producer, music executive, ex he's ex a rich. producer, he's, he's rich. rich, it works. So when you get married for those reasons, yes, it's gonna crumble. Yeah. But if you really, like, I'm at the point in my life that, like, I keep saying, when I'm getting married, like, I'm really gonna work on us being friends, being, it's for better or for worse. Like, you can work But what work if the guy changed? What if your husband changes? I think the guy what changed. What if he I, I, I think the guy changed. Let me, let me tell you why, because Vince was much bigger than this. Like, huge, yeah, huge, huge. True. And Tamar has been going around saying that how she loves thick-um guys. Like, she, the bigger, the better. Mm -hmm. So now that Vince is losing all this weight, and Vince is getting all this confidence, and Vince is getting all this attention from other girls, I think it kind of put their relationship on, like, a little bit of a strain. Like, like mm. what is going on? Like, now you're getting all this attention from girls. Mm -hmm. So I, mean, I feel like Tamar, Tama, I feel like Tamar was a little insecure about mm. the whole thing. And their show just came on, so I'll keep watching. But... To me, I think if they're happy apart, so be it. But back to what you were saying, you will never get a divorce. Yeah, but what if you're so husband No, when I cheats? put my, I mean... What if you're in an abusive the, the relationship? Reason, the, abusive, okay, that's cheating. what I was going to say. That is the only, for me, that I'd be ready to, like, walk out. Is like, if you put your hands on me. But I'm not I'm not even going to get in a marriage thinking of divorce. This is, like, for better or for worse. If not, let's not be married. Like, we fail to realize we can... 
I want my husband to be able to come up to me and say, you know what, I'm not feeling this right now. I, like, you make me want to go and sleep with this other woman. Hmm. Tell me that. Let's work through it. That's what a relationship is about. You know, there's nothing wrong with We fail to realize that the human, especially men, they were made to kind of like wonder a little bit. I mean, we see, it's the truth. Look at how dogs are. Look at, look at hey, them as animals. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, so no. Well, what do you dogs. mean by look at how dogs are? Please elaborate. <laughs> okay, I'm going to elaborate on that. Is humans are just, we are animals. You know that, right? Human Higher is animal. a type of, but we're still animals. Higher so like, animal. if you sit there and you study like a group of animals and how they interact with each other, it's the same way how all men act. So that's why I'm Not saying all. that if you... Uh, yeah, I think the, women, women too, like, it's, uh, it's easier it, for... Is it the gender thing? Hold on, hold on. No, 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 yeah, yeah guys, like, I mean, like, it's harder for a guy to say no to a woman. So if you're in a relationship, like, it will be easier for you to cheat because a guy won't say no to you. But for, a, like, your boyfriend to say no to a woman, is, it's a bit easier. You that's know, how, yeah, that's how, like okay. so it's like to say like guys are dogs i think that's kind of a general yeah generalization yeah, it's hasty generalization a woman, that's a, a fallacy. woman can can do can, the same no. that's what they fail to Dude, realize yeah. that i'm not they, saying okay. i'm not saying that guys are like dogs it's okay not gender i'm just saying all <laughs> animals like if you sit down and you study like a group of birds you study a group of crocodiles, and like the males always have a certain type of behavior. But their brains, their brains are not that developed. <laughs> their brains, yeah. brains can, are not the can, same. We know what's good you and guys, what's bad. You guys are acting like what I said is so. You do know that most, most companies test their developed. products on like rats and monkeys. No, but I'm you saying, guys know we have, that because we, we have the same tendencies as rats and monkeys. But not the same brains. It's not Their brains are not that developed. They're not as developed as the brains of men, humans. It's not a gender thing. Let me just, yeah, let me just be specific. So don't say men. Girls cheat, cheat too. Always do yeah, this. Cheat too. Yeah, cheat too. All the time. The only reason why people <laughs> cheat is because it's available. So if you make it available for a girl, she will cheat. People Likewise, cheat. a man too. People cheat for different reasons. But all I'm saying is, I want my husband, my future husband, to be able to communicate with me. If we're having, if this is not working, if I'm slacking, tell me, I'll pick up the slack. Communication. I think that if you learn how to communicate very well with your with your significant Spouse. other, you won't have problems. Yeah. You know what? And some me? women, <clears throat> a woman will get mad when her husband comes up to her and says, "Babe, you know what? Like, I feel like having sex with someone else." But you're not supposed to get mad. You're supposed to sit down, understand him. That's why a man won't come up and say that because automatically the woman is gonna be like, "No, no, 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 Sharon is not caring on no, his No, but end. you just said if a yeah. man comes to you and be honest with you, mm -hmm. you will talk about it, right? Yes. Because we're all acting. Okay. Every, everybody's sitting here and acting like, like just because you're in a relationship with someone, sometimes that you might not, it's you might not want to lust for someone. You might not see someone else and find that we have to be real and open and so honest. So the mother's like, you should always talk about. It's not everything you talk about. You can't just say it. I can't just be with my wife and say, oh man, there was a girl I the saw disrespect. today. She was so How sexy. You need to see her ass. Like what am I talking about? She she shouldn't get mad, but she'll get jealous. She's yeah. human. Like, the way she will receive that message is kind of different from, you know, it's not everything you talk, some things you if, just let it slide on the carpet and forget about it. If you have a strong relationship with your significant other, those things will not bother you. Like, sometimes it's you see a couple out and then the let's say, it is, it it's, is. It's and the if way you're people confident receive in information, yourself. Just like the lady that found her husband was cheating. Some people would see that, take a break, get off the plane. Some people would see that, react immediately. So people receive information differently. That's true. Oh my God. I think they should divorce if that makes them happy. But you, I'm not a fan of staying in a marriage because of religion, because you're trying to save face, because you know, you are scared. If you want to get divorced, get divorced. Yeah. That's why they are there. <laughs> and Jill Scott and her husband too, now they're saying that her husband might be a down low, a DL gay man in Atlanta. Uh -huh. Jill Scott and her husband, they're also getting divorced. They haven't cited any reasons yet, but they've been married for less than a year. And several blogs online are posting that his man is known to run around with the DL, with the community in Atlanta. Mm. So people are speculating that that might be one of the reasons why they're getting divorced. And they also have one child together as well. Yeah, and then ag again, it ties into like the, you know, social media and public mm -hmm. influence. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, people are speculating, mm. people are saying this, people are saying that. Because and you brought it all out to them and in the first place. And that, you know, makes the divorce nastier. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You know? Because people feel like they know about it. They can. Yeah. yeah. I get you. I got you. You know, do people personally know <laughs> Jill Scott's husband? I've never seen him. Have Me you seen him? Yeah. I like I've seen pictures of him. I mean, Jill Scott is not that popular at the moment as to, as much as like Tamar is. But I've seen pictures of him. I mean, Tamar and Vince are like very popular. They have several shows, so 
you see more of them than you do of them. If you so know, but if they, our viewers probably know much more about the Jill Scott situation. Let us know in the comments, okay? So are, are you saying that you wouldn't go public? Is your relationship private? Do you put it on social media? I, you don't even see one picture of my boyfriend <laughs> on okay. social media. They're like, do you have a boyfriend? Yes. yes. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you, though. You know why? Private. Because you have an understanding boyfriend. Because that's, like you said, it's all about communication. Some people will see it differently. The guy could say, why are you not posting my stuff? Or the girl on the other side, are you ashamed of me? Are you hiding me? You don't want the people to know? But sometimes, just keep relationship matters. What works for you. Yeah, yeah. as long as it works for you. I mean, look would you get upset if your boyfriend came up to you and said like he was feeling like sexually attracted to someone else or something? Would oh, it, my goodness. Oh, of course. You would? <laughs> Check question. Of course. Question. But, but, but question be done. Like, I would you appreciate it? Would you? I would appreciate it because I take... Um, that you know, I, I like to internalize things and uh, analyze. I'm different, but um, <laughs> he has he has like in the past, you know, said something like, "Oh, because I saw him like liking pictures on Instagram," oh, so <laughs> and I was like, you know, mm -hmm. uh, what, what is this about? And yeah. it's like, you know, what's the difference if he likes the picture on Instagram or if he's walking b down the street and sees a girl and he's like, "Oh, like she's cute." So it's like, okay, the act of liking the picture. Is the same as giving a it's compliment. It's the same thing as like looking at the girl and being like, "Oh, she's cute." It's yeah. the same thing. Mm -hmm. The act of liking is it is it, is that what's bothering me? And yes, that's what was bothering. <laughs> oh my god! You know what? You know, you know what advice <laughs> I have for your boyfriend? Boo, you got to work hard. You have to be a president because I see Michelle Obama here oh right I now. Can, uh, <laughs> yeah, All right, so, yeah. so we're gonna move on. Though we're gonna move on to another um, topic, Yazi. Mm, what is going on? This yeah. topic is. So sensitive. Oh. Um, a gunman walked into a church in Texas and shot almost everybody in the church. 26 people hmm. died from this massacre. And what makes it so bad is, I mean, I think we're all still not healed from Vegas yet. I mean, Vegas just happened maybe not even a month ago. So for this to also happen right after is just so horrible and so, so disturbing. And what saved the people in the church is that apparently like uh, a civilian saw him walking into the church with a gun so that civilian also went and got his gun and like came after the gunman wow. so he ended up shooting at the gunman and the gunman was eventually found in his car dead but they're not sure exactly what killed if him. he killed himself or if it was one of the shots from the civilian that shot him so what made me ask the question to myself here is you know everyone keeps saying that it's because of the gun laws that these people are committing crimes like this but then if it wasn't a gun law then the civilian wouldn't have a gun to shoot at this guy so it just becomes like are the gun laws good is it bad like what is your take on it guys i think the issue it should not really be the gun law although they say the gun law is very very light in this country or in some states rather yeah not in every state but this guy who committed this great Vines has a bad history. He worked in the forces before and he was fired from the force. And I think he had bad behavior, issues of alcohol and mm -hmm. drug. That was why they kicked him out. Okay. But they didn't follow up on his case after that. That's the problem. That's the real problem. That's a big problem in America here where like a lot of veterans and a lot of people that have served, a lot mm -hmm. of them do feel neglected by like the army and, you know, Navy yeah, when, when did, they come home bad. because they don't they don't get the same type of help and the same kind of benefits as in when they are in the military service. or yeah mm -hmm. when they are in service he was kicked out so i'm i think this particular guy was angry for the reason we don't know i don't know why you decide to go to a house of prayer to do that but he they didn't follow up on his case after he was kicked out so i don't really know why they just kicked him out and left him that way you know a lot of people are angry for different reasons and this was what he ended up doing um, apparently, too, one of the people that were killed was his grandmother-in-law. Oh, yes, yes. Because apparently, um, they're saying that he was always mad at his, his mother-in-law, that he was always fighting with his mother-in-law, and his mother-in-law attended that church. So people are also speculating that, like, did he go in there? It's, people are saying that he went in there to kill the mother-in-law, but then she wasn't there, but he killed his grandmother-in-law and then just also shot 25 other people. And the thing is, we can't even call him a terrorist because as of now, we don't know what the motive was, mm -hmm. right? And he's dead. Like, and, he, and he's dead. Like, this makes me so 
angry and I'm scared because like when the shooting happened in the club, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna go to the club anymore. I'm scared of my scared. I'm just gonna go to church. And now they're shooting up churches, church as well. So it's like nowhere is safe. And this gun laws, I think part of it is the gun laws. It's like it's easier to get a gun in other states than driver's licenses. They need to do the background checks. Like the background checks needs to go on for months and months and years and years because he had a pass. Mm, he he, he a was pass. arrested before, um, pled guilty mm -hmm. of choking his ex-wife or whatever the case might be. They need to put a law in place where they can really, really, really go in and check these people because mentally as well. True. Because there's probably yeah. something I, going I, on. Yes. I, I hear what you're saying. <laughs> yes. Um, if the, you know, I, this might be a little bit uh, controversial, but it's like, uh, why can't we call him a terrorist, you know? Like just two weeks ago um, in Manhattan, right here, mm -hmm. yeah. um, uh, a truck driver uh, drove into the streets, yeah. killed eight people, you know, and instantly the media and the articles and the news were like terrorist attack. Yeah. So you see that and you're very, very afraid, you're yes. fearful. Yes. Um, so what's what is the difference between that and and this church? I mean, so difference? why is this just a shooting? Uh, but then that is a terrorist attack. Yeah, but like the well, difference didn't they is say something about how it was connected to ISIS? The yeah, one that the happened here. Yeah, the difference is that in, in that guy in downtown Manhattan in his car, they saw some writings, some paper stuff. You know, they write some stuff, and it had to do with those ISIS um, communication mm -hmm. language and all that. That was why they was targeted that, terrorists. Was that why, or was it because he had a, an, um, an Islam name? Like, well, I'm, I just, if they didn't see that, then I don't know. But you're right. Too once there's an attack and the person is Islamic, they just target terrorists. But if it's a white person, he has a mental problem. Yeah. They always try to switch yeah. like that. Something yeah. happened. So you have a point in that. But they did see that paper in the car. So yeah. maybe that it, was the It's just reason. like the, both situations cause terror. Yeah. Like if yeah. you want to just mm -hmm. be like, you know, mm -hmm. terrorist attack. Like in both situations, everybody was fearful for their lives. Mm -hmm. Like you're in a church, you're in a vulnerable situation. Mm -hmm. You're walking down the streets of Manhattan, you know, mm -hmm. uh, minding just your business. minding your business. That's a very terrifying situation to be in so why like why is this just a shooting yeah mm -hmm. and the other one is a terrorist attack you're right like they need I to read they need to re redress that word terrorist attack they need to look at it again and just understand what that word really means in the 21st century well according to inside inside edition they were saying that he had a lot of hatred in him like there was like which of them this this church the, the man okay he had a lot of like hatred in him so he walked into this place and and did that awful they need to put all I, 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 probably bad for me to say this but the whole family needs to be on the watch list like for me this is scary yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. and the fact that he was a problem yeah mm -hmm. before before yeah, yeah. but yeah. nobody like paid attention to paid it attention like follow up because it. somebody like this is not supposed to even have guns yeah because mm -hmm. of his bad record that's why yeah. you said that uh, to an extent they need to re you need to address the the gun laws in this country if you want to get a gun get a license they need to do background check they need to check your history. It doesn't matter. Even if it was 20 years ago you had a crime, they should still, like, put two and two and see if you're qualified to actually have a gun. I think the gun laws, I mean, no matter what you, what you do, like, when I put my mind to something, I do it. I don't have a gun permit. And, but if I put my mind that I want to do something, I'm going to do it. In this day and age with the dark web and a lot of things that people have to the availability, I think that even if you don't have a permit to buy a gun, if you really wanted to do something, you would figure out a way to do it. You could just go online and Google how to create a bomb, for God's sakes. And I think you can just walk into like the gross between the grocery store and the hardware store and create your own bomb if you really, really wanted to. But what I think is a big problem here is that I personally believe that um, massacres and shootings and terrorism is contagious. I believe that by the media showing this over and over, it I think like it triggers things in someone else's brain. Why? Because if you want to be on screen like that. If you <laughs> notice, <laughs> if you I notice mean. that there's a pattern, like every time there's a shooting, there's like almost like very soon after there's another one, and. Mm -hmm. I just think that by showing it in the media, it's like, oh yeah, I always wanted to do that. Oh, that would be cool. You know what? Nobody wants no, to give me any attention. No, it sends two messages though. I want to see myself on the news. Can I finish know. one second, please? Because even when you look in Canada, Canada's crime rate is very low. And one of the reasons study shows is they don't show crimes on TV. Like they're very, like they're very strategic about what is shown on TV. Because you have to realize that not everybody walking is normal. So people watch things and they're like, oh okay, I want to be like that Texas guy. And then 
they do it. I, I get I get what you're saying in some point because there are some people that need attention. Mm -hmm. They want attention mm -hmm. so bad that they they will get it do in crime. any way, shape, or mm -hmm. form. They will do crimes. They will do certain things to be to be seen or to get that attention. I get that. But but <laughs> but. I feel like, yeah, I want to see who did it. I like if when I'm either if I'm sitting at home, I want to see who did it, where they're from, black or white. Yes, it does matter. I want to see it where matters. they grew up. We need up. to know. We need to know this these things. I don't know how it's gonna help, but for me, for closure, I need to know. So maybe that's why. Okay, even if we need to know, we can know about it one time, two times, but you do realize that when these things happen, it becomes like on rotation. It's on your TV 24-7. Every time you turn on CNN, that's what's on. You turn on News Channel 4, News Channel 5, they keep yeah, talking about it. because they keep giving updates, okay. the latest updates. Yeah, but sometimes, updates. They, but sometimes, sometimes they need to cut the bullshit. Yeah, because right. the <laughs> update that they are giving us is, oh, another update, he likes uh, um, bread. Okay, <laughs> like wh like what are we supposed to do with that information? Yeah. Oh, update we found what we found his high school picture reunion. Yeah, like, come and on. that's the thing though. True like though. you know, that's that ties back into my question. It's like you know when it's just like a shooting versus like a terrorist yeah. attack. We know we it kind of like humanizes the yeah. you know the suspect. Mm -hmm. It's like. Oh, like the Vegas shooter. They were like, oh, he loved to gamble. Bo. And it's He's like, a um, <laughs> yeah, okay. so there was nothing but wrong with him. But then you feel like you can relate to him because you're like, hmm, I love to, to gamble. gamble too. But then when it's a terrorist, it's like, oh, he had a letter in his truck. Yeah. I ain't got no letters in my truck. <laughs> I don't know like, about that. What, yeah. what? Like <laughs> Controlled information. But the information they put out there, like you say, I, I quite understand it now. It's like sometimes it's a little bit too much. So no. does it does it make the next person who wants to do evil not do the evil or no, actually want, to, want do it. to do the evil like what you have to realize is anybody that commits this kind of crime is not 100 percent up here like no matter what whether it's because of isis or because of hate or whatever you cannot be okay here so by you seeing this you're like yo i want to see myself on the tv screen i want to dead on, this guy actually shot i just read on um, on an article that he had three gunshot wounds one was in the leg from the civilian one was in his torso from the civilian but what killed him was the gunshot he inflicted himself in the head because already he knows that he's gonna die anyway but he doesn't care about that because he knows he's gonna get what he always wanted which was national attention and which is we're here talking about him and every other news channel is talking about him so i don't know for me i just think that these things are contagious like when it's shown all over TV. Our heart goes out to Texas. Um, stay strong, Texas. And thank you so much, Wemi, for joining yeah, us here yeah, yeah. on yeah. the ABS yeah. show. Please come again. I yes. Come and again. please let us <laughs> know your opinion on these topics in the comments. Until then, you're watching Mina TV. This is the ABS show. Bye. Thanks for watching. And if you liked this episode, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.